Taipei 101 right behind me. Where I am right now is supposedly the best all-you-can-eat buffet in Taipei. It's so hard to get a reservation. Uh, it took a while to get a reservation. Everything is booked out. So if you want to come here, you got to reserve. And just walking in, everything I've seen, everything I want to eat. Let's go take a look around. Just walking around, this buffet is incredible. This might be one of the most intense buffet I've ever witnessed anywhere. Like, anything you want from all types of fresh seafood, they cook everything fresh from cheesy oysters to abalone, everything is cooked right in front of you. They got steaks are grilling, Peking ducks are carving. I just, it's so big, it's like you're sitting around the buffet is like a u-shaped buffet and it's just so mind-blowing looking at it uh time's a wasting i gotta get started All right, like I said, this buffet is just borderline ridiculous. Everything you ever want in life is pretty much here. In my first round, like, I can't even fit that much on my plate. Cheesy oysters. Wow. Either they put three oysters in this, or this is just like, I'm eating some crazy oyster family right now. And it's all soaked in cheese sauce. Mm. That's great. Cheesy seafood really is what Asia is known for. We got this little duck sushi, like Peking duck sushi, and they toast the top. Mmm, perfectly toasted, fatty piece of duck skin. Wow, everything I got is amazing. This stir fry is beef and foie gras. Never had that stir fry before. Wow, this is so cool. This is soaking chicken with clams. This chicken, if you've ever seen it, it's actually black and it's always makes the best soups. And this soup looks like it's really herby. This thing might not be the most flavorful soup. It's definitely good for you. Oh, clams are amazing. I never had sugar soup and clams before. And now I'm wondering why this is the first time I lied because this is so freaking good. This chicken has really amazing medicinal qualities. It's like a tiny little chicken, super, super expensive. Oh, this chicken is one of the most flavorful and it's also supremely nutritious. So here they not only have like these amazing like kind of in your face gimmicky dishes like the oysters and cheese, but they have like really traditional food items as well. This is what like, a lot of Taiwan cuisine is known for. It's being really, in Chinese, we call it bu. Basically, they're super nutritious foods that, that kind of fortify your body. Let's get second round.
it is definitely one of those buffets that you start feeling like, what am I gonna eat? Because I wanna eat so much of it. And you start questioning like stuff you have for lunch because you wish your stomach was even more empty than it already is. Beef tongue, freshly grilled. Oh. 100% much go. The polo sprinkle of sesame and scallions. Oh, what a fantastically delicious touch. Perfectly cooked. Tender, juicy, good quality beef with a hint of smokiness. Little egg pudding. Steamed egg with low caviar. Mmm. Oh. We never had a steamed egg before. It's like it somehow eggs could fly and it wandered into the clouds. Oh! There's seafood on the bottom of the eggs too. Huh, so clever. Look at this beef. Oh. Mm. You know what? That steak may not be A5 Wagyu melting your mouth, but it has a huge beefy flavor. It's extremely juicy. I'm good with it. Scallops with a smear of truffles. And the scallop is cooked just perfect. Great little sear. Mm, that's like a Sea World parade in my mouth. This is the beef that they were roasting. Oh, this is better than the steak I just got. More tender, more juicy. And check this out a big old roasted fish jaw. This sting, if you never had this before, one of my favorite things to eat. Mm. You got that great crunch on the outside. Inside, look at that flaky, juicy meat. And this part of the fish is so fatty and nice. Mm. Just pick it up and eat it like a rib. Awesome. Huh. I'm feeling like a little baby corn. This is a lot of work for this tiny little corn. I'm just saying, this to this, that was not easy. Oh, but that was 100% worth the effort. That's the sweetest baby corn I ever had. I mean, baby anything is sweet, but that was just next level. Soft shell crab. Mm. I mean, you heard that crunch, right? That just says it all. Also, they have a bar, a little juice bar, so you can get milk tea, you can get watermelon juice, whatever you want to get, I'll include it in the buffet. Next place, all about the seafood. So again, they can do hand rolls. I got flame licked flounder scallops and a beef. And this is a hand rolled tuna. Mm, tuna's awesome. Abalone, hey, it doesn't really taste like a rubber band. That's all I'm really going for with that. <laughs> My beef is okay. Not the most tender thing. Oof. I love conch. This crab looks kind of messy. It's actually pretty good. They sliced it open. All the meat and the innards and the guts is all right here. So on one side, 
You got all that sweet meat. And the other, guts galore. Very sweet. Not bad. Oh, especially when you get some of the innards. Prime rib. Not bad. All right, what the heck is this? Huh. Looks like I'm eating something with a... Looks like I'm eating something with a really bad wig. Uh, this is a corn soup with a puff pastry on top. And the pastry itself, oh man. That is really flaky. I think it's okay. I wouldn't even be able to tell it's corn soup. Actually, now that I had a second bite, this is not bad, mainly because of how crispy the puff pastry is. The soup is not overly flavorful. It's just a little sweet and creamy. But with that puff pastry, it becomes buttery and enduring. Mm. Wow, I mean, look how flaky it is. It's like eating a crispy croissant and dipping it in this little street creamy soup. Again, this makes everything so much better. This is the abalone kanji that they make fresh for you. Inside abalone, you got some sea cucumbers, obviously rice. Oh, this is absolutely sublime. One of the best things I've had here tonight. And I added some chilies at the end. I just added a little bit. That thing is already burning hot. Wow, be careful with that. Kids, this ain't a game. All right, I just added one little scoop. Yeah, two scoops. <coughs> you might set your bathroom on fire tonight. Oh. Perfect. I love the fact that they have sea cucumbers in here. A little mushrooms, so it changes up the texture of the abalone. I'm gonna idea. The soup is so good. I'm gonna add the shrimp tempura in the abalone stew. This way, you know, your abalone doesn't get abalone. Because the shrimp, you know, it's gonna play with. Mmm. What a fatty shrimp. Tempura. I just gotta dip it in something. I mean, this is just a perfect soup. Spicy. This is abundant of seafood flavor. Ah, so lovely. Oh, they already brought over the dessert while I was in my middle of my uh, abalone joke. It's a souffle. They make it fresh. They bring it to every single table. And souffle is the most delicious dessert in the world of desserts. If they make it right. Oof, okay. It's fluffy. But does it taste like a cloud? For crying out cloud, this is good. Does it taste cloudy? Like 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 it? Like someone baked the cloud? Perfect. Just a slight chew on the outside. Inside. Completely melts in your mouth. Fresh souffle. First buffet I've ever been to in my life that offers something like this. And it's done well. I think I am pretty much made it through the buffet and got everything I really, really wanted. But one more tour before the dessert. They put fresh clams and just boiled it right in front of your face with a little scallion and ginger. You know, like when I was a, when I was a kid, when I just went to China, my dad took me to this place called Weihai. Oh my God, this is a little seaside shitty. And we went out clam picking with his friends. We got a bunch of these little necks, came home, cooked this in a broth, just like this right here. Light, 
a little briny, it's so sien. It's like tasting a fresh, delicious bowl of the ocean, and the flavor is just like this. Simple, absolutely, remarkably delicious. Mm. That's just like popping a little sea grape in your mouth. I feel like when I when I started on this buffet, when we all started out with some meat, it's been like just the climax, like the epic, aggressively seasoned foods of the buffet towards the end of the meal. And you get here, this is the perfect way to kind of like slow things down, lower the tempo, and then transition into dessert. Bare lava cake and a honey bee. I think this is like cream cake. I just want to say it's bee airy. Nice to meet you guys. It's very nice to be eating this. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, such egg bun. So good. So, after. My new discovery in Singapore, you know what's coming up next, right? Salted egg custard over rum raisin ice cream. One of the greatest combos in the dessert world is this. I love how the egg congeals a little bit over the cold ice cream, creating just a tiny bit of chew. When it comes to buffet endings, it doesn't get much better than what I just had right there. Salty, sweet, eggy. I could go home happy tonight. Mm, still got the bear. The bear is black sesame inside. Chocolate black sesame. Went ahead and drizzled that on my ice cream as well. Oh, that almost tastes better than the salted egg. There's just so much happening in my little bowl of ice cream right now. Pineapple pina cotta, delicious. But this, wow. Mm. All right, let's talk about this buffet. There's so much here. This is one of the, probably one of the most overwhelming buffets I've ever been to. It's just so many items from the grill station to the, to the raw seafood, to the meats and the, and the steaks and the soups. And there's so many things that are cooked right in front of you. Just like if you're ordering it at a restaurant. One thing that's the shortcoming of this buffet is definitely the dessert section. Like, I mean, I love my little uh, chocolatey sesame bear and my uh, honey bee, but like, come on. It's very underwhelming, but really like, like for an Asian country, I don't think it's a big deal for people because when Asians look at buffets, we actually see dollar signs start popping up over like every single dish, you know? Seafood will be like three dollar signs, like, Dessert will be half a dollar sign, you know? And the whole buffet comes to about $68, which, yeah, okay, it, it's, it's not the cheapest, but compare this to a $68 dinner buffet in Las Vegas, which is basically every single buffet on the strip. There is no comparison, none. So is this buffet worth it? Absolutely. When you're in Taipei, come and eat at this place. Also, What's amazing about this, and I, I can't believe when I sat down and I learned about it, there's only one seating um, per service. So like, so like lunch, there's one seating, dinner, there's one seating. So you can sit here and eat. Like we, I got here about 5.30 p.m. I just have to get out of here before 9 p.m. You can sit here for almost four hours and just take your time, enjoy your food, eat, rest, eat again. That's basically what I'm doing right now is like, 7.30, yeah. Hope you have a couple more hours. Just chilling, eating, looking at the view. I really gotta say, this is one of my favorite buffet experiences in Asia. I mean, there's no whole lobster or whole prawns, but the food is absolutely delicious. I would 100% recommend this place. And also, 
Uh, don't just try to walk in, it's impossible. You gotta get a reservation. I would say try to do a week in advance, especially if you're coming for a weekend. That is 100% necessary. But other than that, uh, whenever you're in Taipei, check this place out. Let me know how you like it. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. My last meal in Taipei. Man, this is kind of like an unscheduled trip. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to just go back to Japan, finish my work there, and then go back home. Uh, but I'm so glad I'm here. And this has been such an amazing week of food. And, and I just want to also say that um, coming back here, it wasn't an easy decision. And a lot of people are even asking me. And by the time you guys are watching this, it's probably like a, like a couple months away. Uh, from when I recorded it. So I don't know how the situation um, will be at that point, but either way guys, keep safe, wash your hands as much as you can, hand sanitizer. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Keep safe until we get again. See you later.